But during that early time, there was lots of preparation and, and lots of stuffing and folding papers to send out to people to ask for donations. Between us, we had put together like 86 programs before the station got on the air. Because Mrs. Daniel was so wonderful, you'd go to her with an idea and she'd say, that's the best thing I ever heard. Go to your office and type it up and put it on my desk. She never let you let an idea get away. She never used any of the ideas. But at least she never said no to anything. And so you had a chance to do this creative effort. You got it out of your own system. We had a budget for that of $150 a week. And Josie made 75 and I made 75 And so anything that we, that we bought, we had to buy out of our own pockets. So then anyhow, the, somebody drew a set for us. And we were hard pressed to figure out what was going to be on it. It was just a, a screen with, it was gray with black and white characters on it. And um, we had a wish we had more mailbox. That was the name of the mailbox. And um, we had a clock put on the set with a little hole. And we were going to get a bird to come out of the clock. And the bird was going to say, uh, it's uh, 5.02 and Columbus discovered America in 1492. And then he was going to go back in. Every day he was going to come out, give a fact, go back in. And then on Sunday night, Mrs. Daniel had a party for everybody who was going to be on the air the, the next day and the whole staff. And at each place, there was a little present. Now, I got a mirror. She gave me a puppet. And I don't know whether Fred got the tiger or I got the tiger. But I took the tiger home with me, and we named him Daniel after Mrs. Daniel. So we went on the air, 5 o'clock, and a couple, uh, we had this song that Josie and I had written called Why Hi. Why hi, don't I know you? Why hi, don't I? Why hi, you know me too. Why hi, how do you do? Why hi, I'm Josie. Why hi, how do you do? Oh. And then I was at the organ playing. And because we didn't have time to get a bird, Fred shoved Daniel out the hole and said, Hi, Josie. It's 502, and Columbus discovered America in 1492. And then just went right back in. And that was the first thing that he said, and I had no idea that he would uh, say any more. And that's generally how the whole program came to be. We had to do with what we had. Can't we do something? What do you mean do? Really, really do something, like uh, make a... Build a house or something. Build a house? No, not that exactly, I guess. But um, How can don't you, you ever feel like you've just got to do something nice? Write a poem we could. Or a song? Well, that's dance more a little like bit? It. Well, that's more like it, but build a house. My goodness. Well, that was the first thing I thought of. I really didn't think we could do that. No. Not in an hour or a half hour. No. And may have any continuity to it. It wouldn't. No. Well, we could carry it out over a long period of time. There's never been a children's program that showed how to build a house. And there never will be. 